as I watched this picture here over and over and over again, I was saying, would I be this happy if I had tried to make my past relationship work? Would I be? Hey, how you guys doing, man? Smoothly here. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. I know I'm having a good day. It's another blessed day, man. I can't really say much. I'm blessed. We all blessed if you're watching this video here. And for what I really wanted to talk about here today, man, I'm going to use this footage here. Driving out on a lonely desert road out in the hot Nevada sun. Going about doing what I needed to do out here. But I want to say this, man. I hear a lot of people always complain about their past relationship. Whether it's male or female, how terrible the other person was. But there's always two sides to a story, man. And I'm going to say both sides. Straight up and honest. Yeah, I'm going to talk about it, man. Was the lady I was with before I met my wife, was she a bad woman? No, she wasn't, man. She wasn't. She was a good woman. Well, why didn't it work, man? Because of me. I didn't try to make it work. We've been seeing each other for, Jesus, eight, nine years. It was a good relationship in the beginning. But you know with me, man, I don't deal with certain things in life really well. Especially when it comes to family issues and stress. You know, I tend to bury things inside. You know, I'm one of these guys back then. I didn't like talking about things. I didn't like to just let people know how I'm feeling. You know, I was that tough guy, man. I'm not going to cry, man. Come on, man, please. You know, if that happens, so what? It happens. But on the inside, I was tearing myself up, man. You know, but it got to the point where I needed to go get some help, man. Because everything that I was keeping inside of me for years and years and years, all of a sudden, it just came back on me, man, like whoosh. I used to work six, seven days a week. Just just going to work, just to work, man. Because when I'm out there working and I'm amongst people and I'm talking, it's like I don't have time to really think about what's really going on with me. You know? And I was doing everything that needed to be done in the household. Even though, you know, she had a job, had a master's, social work, doing what she needed to do and everything. You know, I was still taking care of everything. Because I'm a guy, man. I was raised like that. A West Indian guy, you know? Um... But I wasn't really trying to make it work, man. So for the past two years, it became hell for she and I. I move out of the master bedroom and I move into one of the, um, the guest room. We were sleeping in a separate room for two years, living in the same household, man. And I knew, I knew deep down inside this lady was really hurting, man. And I was hurting too, because, you know, I said, man, why don't you really do what needs to be done to make this relationship really work, man? But as months went by, a year went by, a year and a half went by, two years, I realized that I'm not going to be able to salvage that. And I know she was hoping and trying to see maybe one day I'm going to snap out of it. But I didn't, man. She was patient, and I didn't. And I thought it was really unfair for me to just waste this lady life like that, you know, her good years. So, you know, we came to um, the conclusion and say, you know, we need to just go out with each other, man. She moved on out when I got her on the spot. And I went on living, man. Went on living. Went on living for about a year, doing what I was doing, just working, staying busy, doing dumb shit that guy should not be doing, man. You know, but I did it. And then when I run into my wife right now, I was scared, man. I was really scared because I said, man, I don't want to ever have to be doing what I did to another woman, man. 
I don't ever have to want to go through that situation again and just, you know, waste somebody's lives, waste their time to be around me and stuff like that. But after, you know, talking to her, I realized that, you know, maybe she could be the one, man. And this is a lot of things that a lot of men don't really want to talk about, man. Sometimes, you know, we do have issues, man. And there was help out there for us. Make a long story short, I went on out, got the help, got the therapy that I really need. Start talking about things that was bottled up in me for a long time, man. I finally, finally got it out of me, you know. So I started feeling better. You know, so when I felt like I was ready and everything, that's when I decided, got with my lady, my wife, not my lady, my wife. And I sat her down and I talked to her. I told her everything that I was dealing with, what was happening in my past and everything, what I did to, you know, my, my ex. I'm not going to be like most guys blaming women for everything that's went on with them. Sometimes we don't want to take the blame, but I'm going to take the blame, man, because I did wrong, man. Well, she understood. Of course, she was a little scared. I was scared, too. But as time went on, I continued to get the help that I really need, man. Talk about things and just stop keeping things up inside of me from since I was a kid, man. The loss of my dad, the loss of my mom, so many other things. The loss of my brother. I was dealing with a lot. Stuff that I never really grieved. I never really grieved about it until it finally hit me. You know? But everything worked out, man. Everything worked out. You know, I got myself together, got my mind right, doing the right thing. Never thought life would end up the way it's ending up for me right now, man. And I'm happy about it. And this is a thing that a lot of guys don't want to talk about. They don't want to talk about their faults. They don't want to talk about the things that they have done to the ladies in, the, in their past, you know. They use it as an excuse to say, this is the reason why I'm not here with this woman because of what she did to me. But I'm playing this picture over and over in my head here, man, and saying, everything happened for a reason, man. And I think by me end up doing the right thing by that lady and end up doing the right thing for myself. God bless me here with what you're looking at right now, man. Thought I'd share that story, man. You know what it is with me, man. It is always peace and love, man. Peace and love. Nothing wrong with accepting your fault, fellas. Nothing is wrong with that.